Howdy, and welcome back to part three, or welcome to part three. Okay, so, in the last episode, we obtained our animations, and we set up our character to actually draw the weapon, based off the number two key, but, you see, we don't have the animations, and we're not holding it correctly. So, let's go ahead and start setting up a few things. Let's get started with going to the character mesh and our polygon mesh. Change our preview controller to use specific animation. And we're going to idle pistol. And then we're going to hit pause. Scroll back to frame one. And we're wanting to go ahead and get our pistol lined up correctly. So let's go back to our main hand and let's rotate it uh, let's see a little bit more let's uncheck our snapping on our rotation so we can get it a little bit nicer it's a little better now we need to go ahead and position it in the hand. Don't worry about the hand being wrong on the other side just yet. We'll get that. We get the main hand correct first. as good as we can get it. So that's fine. And then we'll go ahead and hit save. Now the next thing we want to do is to line up the hands correctly. I'm going to grab the upper arm. I'm going to move it just a wee bit. And then the lower arm. Position it about right there, and then let's look at our pistol one more time, make sure we're good. That's close enough. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit save. Now, I might actually have to go back into the animation and fix the other hand. But if we hit play, see so we've got an idle animation, it works. But the hand position is correct. So let's go back into our animations, combat, and let's find our pistol one again for idle pistol. It's so a reload pistol, we'll have to fix that one also. Alright. If you're having a hard time finding it this way, you can actually type in the search block and find it that way. Idle pistol. So we go into it, hit pause, scroll back to frame one, or zero, excuse me. Let's go ahead and grab the upper arm on this one, and let's bring it down just a little bit. Grab this upper arm, bring it back out. It looks pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and hit key and apply, and that'll fix it across the board for the entire animation. So we're going to hit save, and that's good. Then we'll go back down, and let's grab our reload pistol. Again, let's pause it, go back to frame one. Grab our upper arm, bring it out just a little bit. Lower arm on the other side, let's bring it up. We'll hit key, apply, and run it. And we're good. Now, we have that. So what we need to do here is set it up to where, in our character blueprint, when we draw our pistol, we need to do something. We need to be able to give it a notification saying, hey, 
we have the pistol equipped. So let's go ahead and create a variable called pistol equipped. Okay, let's hit compost and save. Now, on our draw pistol, we have all this here. Now, I'm just going to grab both of these and drag them over a little bit because we're going to add. Actually, we're going to add it to here. Never mind. So we'll grab pistol equipped on the holster pistol and we're going to set it, leave it unchecked because we're holstering our pistol. We no longer have it equipped. Then up here at the end, we're going to go ahead and set it one more time, check it in the box. So we have the pistol equipped. Okay, now I want to go to our animation blueprint. And I don't like the way that this is laid out. Many of you know that. So I'm just going to clean it up a wee bit just because my OCD won't let me get by without doing it. You don't have to, you can leave it the way it is, it's just fine. It'll work, but I don't like it. Again, that's just me though. Um, I have lots of, no, 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 grab right here. I have lots of OCDs. To me, this looks a whole lot better than the way it was before. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off by doing a cast to player underscore base, which is my player character. If you decide to change it, whatever, you have to know what your player character blueprint's going to be. And you can drag from try get pawn owner to your object reference, and that'll get it locked in there. The next thing we're going to do is run a sequence node. If I knew how to spell. So from this sequence, this is where we're going to handle our equipping our pistol or reloading and everything else. But let's get started first off with what? Well, we actually need to find is pistol equipped. So we'll get pistol equipped from our player character. And we'll create a new variable here. And this is Pistol is equipped. This will be a little bit different, but you know what it is. And we are going to set it. Control C and Control V. We're going to get a branch node. Plug that in here. From then zero, we're going to set both of these. So if we have the pistol equipped then it's going to set this variable to true. If not, then we're going to set it to false. Compile and save. Let's go to our anim graph. And inside our anim graph we're going to go ahead and go into the default. Then from our idle and run, this is where we want to handle our, our pistol stuff for now. Um, we could probably add it into the jump loop later if we want to. We'll see as we go, but I think we probably will. We're going to drag off from the idle run, and we're going to add a new state. Equip pistol. Now, we're not going to use the pistol equipped animation because it looks like crap and is dumb. So all I did was I connected it back to the idle run. So what we need to do is to be able to get into this transition, we need to know that the pistol equipped is true. And that's it for this one. Then we get to this right here, then from our result, we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to drag off from there and type in layered. And it's the only option you're going to find. And it's layered blend per bone. We're going to go ahead and click on Layer Setup and Zero to open those. We're going to add a new element. We're going to open that up and we're going to type in Spline, excuse me, Spine underscore zero one. We're going to hit Tab 
and hit one so that sets our blend depth and then what we want to do here is find our third person idle run I'm going to drag that in here connect that up to our base pose because this is what we want the bottom half of our body to be doing we're going to grab our speed reference plug it in and then we want our idle pistol so again if you have a hard time finding it in here just type in idle or pistol or whatever and we want idle pistol drag that in here connect that into blend pose 0 and compile and save go back to here and go to our return transition pistol equipped is and we're going to drag off from there and we're going to change this to not B for not boolean and then we're going to plug this into here and so now when we're not when the pistol equipped is not true then we can enter that transition which means going back to the regular idle so now if we were to hit the number two key now we go into our animation our pistols in our hand but not in our holster hit the number two it goes back in our holster and out of our hand yay and there was much rejoicing You can adjust the timing with delays so that it waits until the hand is all the way down before it goes back in the holster and destroys the one out of the hand. But we'll worry about polishing it a little bit later on. We just want to get to where it's there. V, we can look down at it. We can almost look down the sights. Probably have to adjust, well, we'll adjust the, the, the pistol level a little bit later on. But we need to make some noise. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is go back to my Assets folder, Audio, and Effects. Now, as I mentioned before, I will make these sounds available. And I'm going to grab 9mm, Rifle, Shotgun, and Sniper. Drag those directly into here. Hit Save All. Save Selected. I'm going to right click on the 9mm and I'm going to create Q. And just leave it as 9mm Q. And I'm going to go ahead and go to my audio folder and make one more folder. And I'm going to call this Attenuations. Go into that. Right click. Go to Sounds. Sound Attenuation. Call it my Gunshots. Underscore AT for my attenuation, and I'm going to leave it the way it is for right now. I'm just going to save it and close it. Don't need you. Now, we can do this a couple different ways. On um, this one, we don't actually have the firing animation, like a pistol fire animation. You can get one, add one if you want. Um, there just doesn't happen to be one in here. But if you had one, that's where you could add it in and go about it a different way. I think... Yeah, you got rifle from hip and from iron sights. Shotgun from hip and iron sights. But they forgot to add in a pistol from iron sights. Or a pistol. So all we have is idle pistol and pistol reload are the only two that we're really going to use here. So with our sounds and effects, go into our 9mm Q and that's going to be fine. Make sure it's not looping. And then we're going to go ahead and set the attenuation to my gunshot attenuation and save. Now, go back to our weapons and blueprints and pistol master we can go into that so we're going to actually make the functionality happen here get rid of everything so we got nothing in there and we're going to do a custom event fire pistol alright with fire pistol set up here 
what we're going to want to do is when we say we're going to fire the pistol, we want a particle effect and we want a sound. So we need a locations for everything to go to. So again, we're going to go back to the heist and let's prepare our model. Let's go to our meshes and weapons rigged. Let's go into the pistol skeleton. And we're going to go ahead and add in a few things here. First thing we're going to add is select pistol and we're going to right click on it and add socket. Select it, hit F2. We're going to call this muzzle. Now, I'm going to go ahead and rotate this 90 degrees. Make sure your snapping is turned back on for your rotation. So rotate it 90 degrees, and then I'm going to go ahead and move it, because I know that I just need to rotate it. So that's that, and we're going to select our pistol again. Right click, add socket, select that. We're going to do call this one by hitting F2, magazine, because it's not a clip, it's a magazine. We're going to drag this underneath that location, and we're probably going to have to rotate that later on, and I can't remember which way to rotate it, I think it's this way. Actually, I'll go ahead and do that now. Rotate it forward 90 degrees. Alright, so the next one we want to do is Select the pistol again, add sockets, select it, hit F2, we're going to call this ejection port, because that's what it's called. And we're going to move that up here, right here, move forward a little bit, and then move it off to the side. We want this to be just above and to the right of the ejection port. That's a little silver part right there. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and add in a couple other things here. Um, I'm not going to add the silencer right now, but you can. So you have a muzzle, and when we go to add a silencer on, we're going to have to create a second muzzle, which is going to be at the end of the silencer. But if you want to go ahead and set up for your flashlight, right click on that, add sockets, Select it, call it light, and let's go ahead and add in a preview asset. And they called it torch. And let's go ahead and move it in location. You can see we need to rotate it. Now you can position this however you want it to look, um, because later on I'm going to add some functionality and actually make the, the light work. So I'm just going to put it right there, and that's good enough for now. So we're going to hit save and close. Next thing we want to do is go ahead and we want to play sound at location. And we need a location for this. So I'm going to grab the skeletal mesh. And I don't think it's going to work here. But get socket location. Plug that in here. And it's going to be the muzzle. Because there actually isn't one, but because we don't have a mesh assigned to this yet. This is the master blueprint. The sound is going to be 9mm Q. Next thing we're going to do is spawn emitter at location. We're going to use the same location. The emitter we're going to use is gunshot, since we already fixed that in a previous uh, video. Now, we have this going right here. If we actually look at our 
SWAT pistol blueprint, open full blueprint editor, it's getting all this information directly from the master. So we shouldn't have to set anything in here except for the fact that we have our pistol already there. So let's go to our character blueprint. And we need a new event. So let's go ahead and this is our main pistol stuff right here. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight all of this. Hit C and pistol stuff. And I'm just going to move this out of the way. All right, so now we want to start shooting our pistol and getting it prepared. We're also going to create an animation for the pistol as well. So let's just go ahead and get the basics going right now. And we're going to do a custom event client fire pistol. And we're going to go ahead and multicast reliable. Come on, save. And then what we want to do here is fire our pistol. But how do we do that? Let's go ahead and get our pistol equipped reference. And probably should do an is valid, but it works. Uh, let's go ahead and cast to our SWAT pistol blueprint because that's the pistol we have currently equipped because we're the FBI guy or gal. We'll change that also in another video. And then we're going to fire a pistol. We can call that event from the pistol and ignore that note. It's, it's going to be fine. I promise it's going to be fine. Next thing we're going to do is custom event. We're going to call this fire pistol it is going to be run on server reliable whereas that is multicast and reliable we're going to switch has authorita and client fire pistol next thing we need to do is left mouse button verify that we have our pistol equipped and run our branch could probably run that up here but it shouldn't matter if it does then I'll go back and I'll change it so if we have our pistol equipped then we are going to fire pistol Now you notice the muzzle flash is not facing the correct direction when you turn this way. So we can go in here and in our emitter we can also grab from our skeletal mesh get socket rotation plug that sucker into the rotation that will rectify that problem. Draw our pistol. And now it's going the wrong damn way. Um, so let's just go back into our pistol again. Even though we've already rotated it once. Um, let's verify that it's... Yeah, it's firing the wrong way to the left. Muzzle. Well, let's try that. It's 
Still going the wrong damn way. Ah, I'll tell you. because we didn't put the name in there. Now I'll probably have to rotate it again. Yeah, we had it right the first time, and... Actually... No. Yeah, we had it correct the first time. Just forgot to put that one little thing in there. So it doesn't matter which way we're facing now, it's going to be firing off the correct direction. So now we actually have our ejection port and our magazine. Let's move on to our reload animation. Now, this is working. Let's go ahead and fire pistol, compost, and save. Let's drag, hello, drag you out of the way. And since we're working over here, might as well continue, right? So, let's go ahead and... Custom event. Clant. Reload. Pistol. And, of course, we want that to be multicast. Reliable. Compost. Save. Okay, so what we need to do here is... Um, we need to create a variable reload pistol. Now, since we're we're doing all these things here, creating all these weird categories, let's go back up to the main hand and let's actually change the category from default to pistol. Now we can go to pistol in hand, change that category to pistol, pistol equipped, change that category, pistol. And spell this correctly and change the category to pistol. So now we can minimize that if we need to and hide it. So we're going to need this. Get, um, no, we need to set it. And what we're going to need to do here is. And this is going to suck. Um, start reload pistol. And we're going to set that to true. And then we're going to do another custom client stop reload pistol. I know, it sucks. But we're going to have to do it this way. And we're going to set that to no, because we're not reloading a pistol. It's simple, but it's redundant. And we're going to do another custom start reloading pistol. And it's going to be run on server reliable. That's multicast reliable. And switch has authority. And client start reload pistol. Custom event stop reloading. Pistol. Even though that's not exactly what it's doing. Um, run on server, reliable. We're just deactivating this so that it has a stopping point. And then client stop reloading pistol. 
And then we're going to complete that with keyboard R. And then when we press it, we're going to start reloading pistol. And then just for safety's sake, we're going to stop reloading pistol. So basically we touch it and then let it go and it's going to start and stop at that point. And then we'll come back to that as we need to. We're going to go to our animation blueprint. Polygon animation blueprint. And now what we need to do is go back to here since we already have our sequence node and Go do this a little bit different. New variable called reloading pistol. We're going to drag off from here from our player and we're going to get reload pistol. We're going to set reloading pistol, connect that. Why this one works this way and the other one doesn't, I don't know. But just from experience, this is just how it likes to go. All right, so now we can go back to our default here. And from our equip pistol, we have to do it from while we have our pistol out. So let's go ahead and add a state. And reload pistol. and set a return going back to it. Our entrance, reloading pistol. Simple enough. We're going to go to default and same thing we did before. We're going to type out layered. So we have our layered blend per bone. Now go in here, add one, open up zero, type in capital S, then lowercase p i n e underscore zero one tab one and now we're set our third person idle run is going to go into our base bows and plug in our speed then we need our reload pistol bottom half of our body is going to be doing this, top half of our body is going to be doing that. And now what we're going to need to do is on our exit from here, we're going to have to do something a little bit different. And we're going to type in time remaining, and it's going to be the ratio of the reload pistol. So time remaining ratio reload pistol. Then we're going to type in, after we drag off from there, float, and we're going to say less than, and plug that in here, and we're going to change this value to 0 0.1. So if there's less than a tenth of a second left, then we can go back into our regular pistol animation. And I'm just going to bunch that back up. You compile and save, and now go back in here and play. Nothing happens when we do that. We can't do anything from reload. But now we draw our pistol, we fire, and we can reload. All right, so the next thing we want to do is we want to actually make a magazine drop whenever we hit the reload button. We want to see a magazine fall out and hit the ground. Plus, when we shoot, we want to see a shell kick out. So let's go back to our assets and our weapons a drop. We can put this under pickups if you want. Uh, doesn't really matter. And actor pistol underscore mag drop underscore BP. And then we're going to go ahead and go to our weapons rigged. Swap pistol magazine, grab that, go back in here. We can actually close that down. We don't need that right now. Or the player. We're going to add a component and 
we're just going to call this magazine. We need to make sure that we turn on a couple things here. On our, our magazine itself, we want to simulate physics. Um, maybe a problem if there's no collision, so let's turn on um, block all dynamic. Then we don't need anything else. We may have to come back to that in just a minute. Um, let's go back to our pistol blueprint right here, the master. So we fired off a sound and we fired off the emitter. Uh, we haven't actually fired a projectile or anything else yet. So let's go over here and again we're inside the pistol master. Re... oh sorry, custom event. Reload magazine. And we are going to spawn, learn how to type, spawn actor from class, mag drop, and then we're going to go ahead and get our reference to our skeletal mesh, and we're going to get socket transform, plug that in, And I think I just called it magazine, but let's confirm. Weapons rigged. Yep, magazine. And we got ejection port as two words. So we're going to do that, and that's fine. Um, we'll come back to that. Let's go to here on the shell eject and we're going to go ahead and do spawn actor from class and we need to create that actor but let's go ahead and get um, get socket transform and that's actually going to be our ejection port and that's going to plug in here let's go ahead and go back to our pickups and blueprint class actor pistol empty case BP this is simple enough um, we need to go to weapons and this one right here weapon ammo bullet small is going to be the correct one that we need we're going to add component and we're going to call this casing because it's an empty casing I know you can't see it but it's there and let's go ahead and we can do this a couple different ways. We can make it a projectile and have it shoot out, but we're just going to make it fall for right now. We're going to simulate physics. Um, and we'll see if this works. We may have to come back in and change that. So now this is going to be pistol empty case. It's going to spawn from the ejection port. Let's see where we're at now. So we come in here, draw our pistol out, we fire. I don't know if you can see them, but they're falling right there on the ground at his feet. I'm going to go in here so we can get on the carpet, some nice contrasting color. And it's dropping at their feet. I think it would be better if they were um, coming out. Let's go ahead and hit reload 
and we need to add that into our player character. But there's one more thing I need to do in our thing here. Let's delete these two, and we're going to type in set lifespan because we want these shells to just die after two seconds. So they despawn after two seconds, so you're not filling the, the whole map up with friggin' P shell cases. So that's good. Now we need our reload pistol. Let's go back to our player character. And in our reload sequence here, we we'll start reloading pistol. It's gonna move you down here. And in our client reload, we're gonna have to add in something. So in our start reload, we're going to get our pistol in hand, and we are going to cast to our SWAT pistol, plug that in. And reload magazine. So, okay, we grab our pistol, we draw it out, fire a few rounds, let's hit reload, and then we drop the magazine on the ground. You can see our empty shell casings, reload, drop another mag. And it's dropping upside down. All right, so let's go ahead and go to our weapons rigged one more time. Magazine. We're at 180. There we go. Now, so we're not spamming all these. We can close that. We can close that. And let's take a look at our animation. Because we do one thing out of that is what we're doing here. Combat animations. We mouse over our reload pistol animation. The sequence length length is 1.6666667. So we're just going to round that up to 1.67. Go in here. And let's just make a little bit more room. And let's add in a new variable. Can reload. Might as well make another one. Can shoot. So, first thing we want to do is when we start to do our reload pistol, we need to go ahead and set can shoot to false. So, we can't shoot while we're reloading. But, we also need to make more room. Don't need that much room, but uh, let's go ahead and do a branch. And we need to ask, can we reload? If the answer is yes, then Set reload pistol to true. Set can shoot to false. And do that. Then we're going to add in a delay. Of 1.667. Damn, need a little bit more room. And then we want to 
set can reload and I need more room again. Set can shoot. So that's going to let us be able to stop ourselves from shooting while we're reloading and stop us from spamming our reloads. Now let's go back to our shooting, our fire pistol here, and make a little bit more room here. Make a little bit more room here. Let's actually, no, we can do it right here. Verifying that our pistol is equipped but we also want to go ahead and run a branch here and see if we can shoot. Get can shoot. Because we, we're not allowed to shoot in, you know, unless we have a pistol out here. All right, so quickly take a look at that. Let's do all right. We can't shoot, so when we draw our pistol and all this right here, we're setting the pistol as equipped, but we also need to go ahead and set. Um, Set can shoot to true. And, you know, these are kind of redundant, but on here, we're going to set it to false. So when we hold our pistol, we can no longer shoot. So now we draw our pistol. We can shoot. And we can't reload, so let's check our reload. Can reload. So let's go ahead and add in one more thing when we draw our pistol. We have to enable our reloads. So set can reload to true. So, now, draw our pistol. Fire, got empty shell casings, they're disappearing. Reload, can't shoot. And I'm still spamming. So, start reload pistol. Yes, and. No, we can't reload anymore. Oh, it's because we have that checked. All right, pistol out, reload. Yep, we gotta have that. So we set it to true. We're running it. Hmm. Okay. We'll have to come back to that. Because the video is running a little bit long, we're at 48 minutes, and I wanted to keep these videos around 15 20 minutes. So. Let's wrap this up. Hit reload, do our animation. Drop the mag. All right, that's gotten us to a nice little stopping point. So I want to thank everybody for watching and we'll pick up this on the next video and we'll go from there. The next video we'll pick up also creating a reload animation for the, I'm sorry, the shooting animation for the pistol so that it'll actually show that the slide is moving. Right now, it's just meh. 
We want to see the slide operating whenever we do that, and um, we'll cover that in the next video. All right, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.